on behalf of the Nigerian Ministry of Defense and the Nigerian Ministry of Defense, Dr. Abubakar Ibrahim. As you are aware, Your Excellency, the National Security Act, despite this expenditure that we're, we're involved in, it was to our country. Your Excellency, the leadership Nigeria has been providing has been well, so that with that, Nigeria can actually be supporting ECOWAS. Number of contingent in this formation. Your Excellency, sir, all the vehicles you see around here, including the MRAPs, the APCs, and all the others, are actually from the Nigerian Ministry of Defense, courtesy of the approval by His Excellency, Mr. President, sir. Your Excellency, this is one of the many peace support operations that Your Excellency has granted approval for Nigeria to participate in. Like Excellency, we equally have the highest contingent in the ECOWAS mission in the Gambia, where we have 200 troops currently operating in the Gambia. Your Excellency, besides our involvement in ECOWAS, we are also involved in United Nations Peace Support Operations. Right now, a Nigerian Major General is actually the commander in the UN operation in Abiye in South Sudan, sir. Your Excellency, the forces that are here, a Nigerian Brigadier General seated right beside you is indeed the force commander of all the forces here, including Nigeria, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, and others. Your Excellency, we equally have forces right now, about 70 of them, providing medical services in the level. I will stop here after welcoming you to invite the first commander, Brigadier General Al Hassan Gremer, to give a brief of the activities they are doing here. Your Excellency, the last election that took place here some few months ago, Nigeria played a prominent role. The armed forces here are the ones keeping this country safe. I stand bold to say this. We receive reports in the Ministry of Defense on a daily basis what is happening in this country. If these gentlemen and women leave this country, I'm sorry. There will be refugees in Kivat, in the Gambia, and other countries neighboring the Guinea Bissau. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for taking time to visit our troops. The former governor of Kebi, Atiku Bagu, you know him? And then you have uh, distinguished Senator Abu Ibrahim. And uh, you have uh, your brand new NSA. No uh, we are here to show solidarity with you. Nothing more, nothing less. We assure you of our commitment to peace and democracy across, not only in West Africa sub-region, but around the world. <clears throat> Nigeria being a very strong leader political economy of uh, Africa and a giant solidarity with you. And hearing that the allowances are paid up to date, then nothing else to make you angry. Uh, we, we continue 
to build a very force. We are very proud of you. Proud of your commitment, proud of your loyalty, and uh, we will not abandon you at any given time. Nigeria depends on you. Nigeria will show the world that you are responsible and you are focused. That you represent that country in a way, in many times, and many ways that could provide peace and happiness to other nations. I want to say thank you very much for what you are doing. I share with you the joy of doing it, but I know some of you will miss home, you'll be homesick. Just tarry on, tarry on. There will be peace and progress Amen. in our country. Amen. Thank you very much. Of our president's visit to Guinea Bissau. Is there any interest that Nigeria has? Oh, of course, Nigeria has uh, enormous interest in the stability of the entire West African sub-region, if not the entire African continent. Don't forget, Nigeria is, is the biggest country in terms of everything, in terms of all parameters, all indices of a great country that you can mention. Nigeria has it above other African countries, black African countries, if you may say. So, it's in the stability of the entire West African sub-region, as I said, because of obvious reasons. Nigeria is the big brother of all, to all the uh, ECOWAS countries in, in West Africa. One, two, even in terms of economic dependence or interdependence, Nigeria, you can say with all sense of responsibility, is the economic giant of this sub-region. And so all countries along the west coast of Africa look up to Nigeria for leadership and for bringing or shoring up or enhancing the dignity of the black man. Forget not, Nigeria is the biggest concentration of Africans, black Africans, as a nation anywhere else in the world. One out of, it's reputed to be one out of every five uh, Africans is a Nigerian. So Nigeria contains the largest number of blacks in a territorial environment in the world. So that counts for something significant. Nigeria's role, leadership role in Africa generally and specifically in West Africa cannot be overemphasized. And that's why Nigeria, take Guinea-Bissau for instance, where we are now, the Nigerian contingent troops to ensure stability in this country is the largest out of all the ECOWAS countries uh, stabil stabilization uh, troops that are here and the president has just addressed them you were all there we were all there together the, 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 the commander there told us they are the best equipped the best motivated the best mobilized and all that so you there is no gain saying the fact that Nigeria's presence, our president's presence here, uh, don't forget the ECOWAS meeting is also holding tomorrow and everybody is looking up to Nigeria taking over the mantle of leadership of the ECOWAS, the ECOWAS community, the organization. And that's another pointer to the fact that every one of them recognizes the fact that Nigeria should assume the leadership role. Even when we went to Paris the other day, uh, about two weeks ago or three, most presidents, so many heads of states, were falling over themselves to meet with the Nigerian president, with President Tinubu. And every one of them that he could accommodate did say emphatically that they were happy that Nigeria is now back in the global affairs. Nigeria is now back on the world stage, or the global stage, and is really proving its mettle. Simply because of the progressive policies of, of this 
current president in the last one month. So this has come to be emphasized here in, in Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is a very small country. It has resources, oil and gas, and it has the largest mangrove forest area in the world. Over 10% of the entire land area is mangrove forest. And that signposts a lot of things that will be there. So apart from these economic indices and resources, there is also internal instability. There was uh, an attempted coup uh, sometime back, which necessitated Nigeria and West Africa, the ECOWAS community, to send stabilization force here. And that's why Nigeria is taking a leading role in that stabilization effort. And we have seen that. The, the, the Guinea-Bissau president visited uh, President Tinubu in Lagos uh, during the Salah period. Uh, we, were, we were all there. And he was full of encomium for our president and wanted, and I mean, he said this to my own hearing, that he would want our president to assume the leadership role in, in, in West Africa. So it is, from all indications, a very worthwhile trip for our president. Thank you very much. Thank I uh, okay, thank you. I am uh, Al Hassan Muhammad Grema, Brigadier General, the first commander of the ECOWAS Stabilization Support Mission to the Republic of Guinea Bissau. Uh, we've been here on an ECOWAS mission for the past 14 months. Uh, as you are, uh, you are all aware, the mission was stated following the attempted coup here in uh, February, on February 1st last year. So we have been here for the past uh, 14 months. Uh, the contingent, uh, the force is made up of troops from Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana, and Côte d'Ivoire. Nigeria, of course, has the largest contingent as usual. Uh, and we are also the first contingent to deploy to the mission. Uh, basically, what we have been doing is we have been conducting long and short-range patrols uh, we have been securing key facilities here in the country. We have been providing security to the president and other authorities and uh, vital infra infrastructure, the presidential palace, the uh, Palacio du Governor and, and other uh, activities. We have also been very, very involved in civil military cooperation activities. Uh, we have been especially, especially medical uh, outreaches. The Nigerian contingent has been very, very active uh, in that regard. I think the level one hospital from inception to date, we have treated over 5,000 uh, 5, uh, both military and civilian uh, uh, citizens of uh, Guinea-Bissau. How do you perceive the president's visit today? Oh, 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 oh. This is a one in a lifetime opportunity for myself and my officers and men. Uh, it is not uh, always, it's a very rare occurrence for the commander-in-chief to visit his troops out of the country. We are fortunate to have received the president today. We are the first troops that I think the president has visited outside Nigeria since he became the president. We are indeed very, very grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you.